Okay, so we're looking at um, the practice paper from the AS textbook, and we're on question four. Now we've got a trig equation to solve. So I'm going to solve this just using the basic calculator. If you've got a graphical calculator, this question will be a little bit quicker um, for you. Okay, so, um, so the fact that it's 2x is not a problem. I'm only going to need to worry about that at the very end. Um, and I'm assuming I'm going to have to use one of my identities. So it's either going to be using the tan is sine over cosine or sine squared plus cos squared equals one and it's going to be the second identity so i'm going to i'm going to write the full identity out so we, we normally write it in terms of x it still works if everything is in terms of 2x so it will always be the squared um, term that you want to substitute out so i'm interested in substituting sine squared x for cos squared x okay so if i rewrite the identity there so now if i write down the question okay so so i've got to be careful not to forget about that coefficient of two and then when it says sine squared 2x i'm going to substitute for one minus cos squared 2x and do make sure um, you are writing it uh, absolutely correctly so if you if you realize if you're not writing the 2x make sure you go back and add that into every line of working okay so I'm going to multiply that first set of brackets out. And then it's a quadratic. So I'm going to make, well, it already does equal zero. But one thing I am going to do is I'm going to add everything over to the right hand side so that I then don't have the, the minus coefficient for my, my squared term. So if I add everything over to the right hand side, I get two cos squared two x. I get plus cos 2x. Don't actually, I'm gonna, I don't need the brackets around the 2x, so I'm just gonna stop writing those. Okay, and then I've currently got two minus one, so that's one, but then I'm taking it all over to the right-hand side. Okay, um, right, so there's my quadratic. I am going to assume that that factorizes. So you have got some options here. Um, if, if you're happy, you can just factorize it as it is. If you would rather, you can just use um, a substitution. So that is entirely up to you, whether you find that stage helpful or not. You could, of course, just stick that straight into your calculator. I think that factorizes. So um, I'm going to have plus one there and minus one there. So I've got y equals a half or y equals minus one. Okay, but you might and you might not have used the substitution y. You might just have um, factorized it in terms of cos, and that's fine. But either way, you're going to end up with cos two x equals a half, or cos two x equals minus one. So they are both valid. So I'm going to get solutions from from both of those. If we go back to the question. Yeah, it just says find all the solutions. So I'm clearly expecting more than one. Um, so I'm potentially. I'm um, going to get up to four if I think the domain, yeah, so they're only asking me to go from zero to 180 degrees. So, um, so if I inverse cos a half, okay, I get 60 degrees. Now, the original um, domain for the answers was between zero and 180. As I'm actually finding values of 2x, I can double each of those limits. So at this stage, I want to go up to 360. Um, it's cos x, so my second solution is going to be 360 minus my principal value, so 300, and then I'm going to halve each of those. And my next solution up would be 60 plus 360, so 420, which would be too large. Um, let's get my other solutions as well. So um, so if I look at the minus one, I get cos 2x is 180. Um, and my next solution after that would be, uh, shouldn't need a calculator for that, I'm going to be lazy, would be 540, so that's going to be too large. So if I halve each of those to get my values of x, those, let's just double check, hopefully, are the only three solutions. Brilliant. 